What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So we're switching things up a little bit today and I'm going to be doing a sneaker unboxing review video. This will be my first sneaker review video on my channel, but if you've been following me for a while, you know I love sneakers, I love streetwear. So I figured this would be a really cool segment to maybe add into the fashion videos so that you guys can get a better idea of certain sneakers that are kind of really popular right now and whether I think they're worth it, going through the shoe, the sizing, where I bought them and everything like that. So today we are going to be reviewing a pair of New Balances, as you can see by the title, the New Balance 9060s. And actually I recently saw these on Instagram and to be honest, I haven't always been a New Balance fan in terms of the fact that I've just never picked up a pair of New Balances. To be honest, I was always kind of gravitating more towards Nike but lately I've been expanding my collection a little bit more, looking into other brands, and I really loved this pair of New Balances, and I'll get into why I specifically really love these in comparison to other styles of New Balances. So, since I ordered these online, I wasn't sure what to expect. I got them off of StockX, so as you guys may or may not know, StockX basically authenticates sneakers, so sellers can sell through StockX, and buyers like me will have to wait for the shoe to be authenticated by StockX. So sometimes it can take a little bit before you get the sneakers in your hands. From purchasing the shoes to getting them, I think it took about two to three weeks. So just so you guys know, if you are looking to purchase a pair on StockX, the other thing to know about StockX is Prices are going to be higher, basically they're for resale value, so you're not going to get the actual retail value of the shoe. These go for a lot less than what I paid for, but that's kind of how it goes, especially when a sneaker becomes really popular. You can no longer buy the sneaker on New Balance itself because they're sold out. So you go to places like StockX where people are reselling them for a higher price because of the popularity. So that's kind of how it all works. All right, so these are the New Balance 9060s and this is in the color Rain Cloud Gray. There are a lot of different colorways out right now, but these were the ones that really caught my eye just because of the colors and I felt like it will really go with a lot of the outfits that I wear. I wear a lot of gray toned outfits. There's also another color that's more of a beige colorway and I just felt like although they were beautiful, these ones will definitely go more with my wardrobe. So that was kind of how I selected this color. There was also a black color that I really, really loved, but I do have a chunky sneaker that are similar in black. So I went with the gray because I don't have anything like these in my collection. So let's get into the details of the sneaker. So the first thing that caught my eye about these was the New Balance logo on this side. I really love the look of that and especially because on the other side, the New Balance logo is a little bit different, kind of has these stripes instead of the outlined New Balance logo on this side. I thought that was really cool and kind of like futuristic looking, which is something that I really loved about these. The color is really cool because you have like the darker shade of gray going through it with the lighter tones. I love like a monochromatic kind of style look. So that's why I really loved the different tones and shades of gray. I feel like that's really in style right now and can really help to pair different outfits around the shoe, whether it might be cream, pulling out the darker gray, or even the white and the lighter gray tones. I've been able to wear these a ton already, so that is very promising with just how many outfits you can pair with these. What I also thought was an interesting detail is the red logo on the tongue. I actually love wearing red, so that was really cool because I could even tie red with these, which was kind of like an unexpected detail on the tongue, but I really, really love that it is red because that's one color that I really do love to wear. I love that there are cream details on here. I feel like the colorway of these are just so perfect for spring and summer. They're really light, and I feel like I'm just gonna be wearing these all season. I'm already wanting to grab more colors than these because let me tell you guys, they are so comfortable. I have so many different pairs of sneakers, but the sole on these are genuinely actually 
comfortable and I feel like some of my sneakers are very flat but these actually feel supportive and as I'm wearing them it actually feels like you're walking in a cloud like they're supported and I feel like you could walk around in these for hours without them getting uncomfortable which although you think most sneakers would have that comfort not all of them do especially some of the more fashionable ones so these ones have comfort along with style which I absolutely love about these as well. Okay, moving into more details of the shoe. How cool is this back kind of like plasticky looking thing on the back? I thought that was really unique and kind of made it more futuristic looking. And underneath it, it's hard to see, but there is like a silver kind of under part to it that gives it a really unique detail. There's also mesh built into the shoe on the white parts of the shoe which i thought was a really cool way to give the shoe more depth so i thought the mesh detail was something i wasn't expecting i feel like when i was looking at them in photos i didn't realize that it had the mesh which i feel like is very classic for new balance to have that kind of detail on the shoe so another detail of the aesthetic of the shoe this is all suede. The lighter gray and the darker gray is like a suede material. I felt like that really gave a nice contrast to the mesh detailing. And then having the logo be this more like metallic gray, really, really cool and very in style right now. The metallic vibes are very in. Everything is silver and metallic right now. If you guys watch my trend predictions video, I've talked a lot about that. So I feel like these will just go really well with the more metallic, silver vibes that I've been wearing lately as you can see with my earrings I'm all about silver right now so that was another reason why I really love these to go with my outfits because I feel like they really will go well with more of that vibe also the laces are cream which I really love instead of a white I feel like it kind of brings out the cream in the sole of the shoe and I actually have been wearing a lot more like cream tones so it's actually been really cool to pair cream accessories with these kind of bring that part out of the outfits as well it just kind of elevates the shoe a little bit more instead of them being like a classic white lace okay moving into the shape of the shoe which is probably my most favorite part about these sneakers and is actually why i decided to grab these i feel like the whole chunky vibe is really in right now and i personally love a chunky sneaker and something that has more of a thicker platform i feel like some of the other new balance styles that were more on trend and popular weren't always as chunky as these and that's why these ones really caught my eye they have that super chunky sole and even from the front i love how it has a wider look to it i personally just love the way they look when they're more chunky with my personal style wearing baggy pants and that kind of thing i feel like it just kind of evens out the proportions of an outfit when the sneaker is also very chunky i tried on similarly the nike vomero fives i believe that are very in right now as well but i didn't find them to be as chunky so i don't know it didn't look as cool with my baggy pants and the style that i wear so that's why i'm like really really happy with the chunkiness and just the overall silhouette of these sneakers and it's actually the exact reason why i decided to go with these because a lot of the dad sneaker kind of vibes that are out there don't always have this chunkiness to it so that is why i also really really was excited about these moving into sizing this was my biggest concern about buying these because i couldn't really find any information online about whether they fit true to size so i kind of just had to take the risk and order what i thought and they definitely are true to size some sneakers i've bought you either need to size up or down half a size or a full size but these were spot on with my size. I'm typically a six and a half and these fit perfectly. So if you guys are wondering about sizing with these, definitely just go with your true size because they fit perfectly true to size. In terms of sneaker trends that I'm spotting right now, I feel like everything was all about Nike before. And now I'm seeing a big shift into other brands and other brands are getting more of a spotlight in terms of them just being more on trend and having a wider popularity. So I know that the New Balances were always popular, but I've been seeing a lot more coming out with certain other styles of New Balances, even Asics, 
seeing new styles of Nikes coming out that aren't the traditional like Jordans and Dunks. So that's really interesting that these like started to catch my eye because I feel like all I was wearing before was literally Jordans and Dunks, but I've been seeing such a shift into this more dad sneaker vibe. So I am really excited because that gives me an opportunity to just play around with new styles like these. As much as trends and popular styles come through, I always just lean into what I genuinely like. There has been a lot of styles of sneakers that have come through that are popular that I just didn't really hop on. As I was saying, there were New Balance styles that were really popular before that I just didn't feel like were really my vibe until I saw these ones. So as much as I'm making this video about a popular trendy style, it's only because I genuinely love these and typically only go for trends that I feel like are in line with my style. So that definitely goes true for you guys watching. Buy whatever sneakers you like, make them your own. It doesn't matter if they're on trend or popular right now, but I know these ones are taking over the internet right now, so I wanted to make a full review video that you guys can see the whole vibe of the sneaker. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked this sneaker review video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it, and I can definitely do more of these depending on what sneakers I get in and shop for. I can kind of weave these into the fashion videos monthly. So let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys for the next video. Bye guys.